The thoughts and feelings of loneliness can make us feel awful. We can question our worthiness of love and belonging. We can feel broken and unfit to be around others. My dear, awesome gay man experiencing loneliness, you're not broken, you're human. Yuma, and welcome to Connection Espresso. I'm Phil McAuliffe, I'm the loneliness guy, and this is Espresso number seven. This is a mini podcast designed to give your mind, your heart, and your soul a quick connection boost as you, a beautiful gay man experiencing loneliness, go about your day. So let's get to it. Hello, YouTube. It's great to see you here. This is an episode where there's loving kindness and support for you as a gay man experiencing loneliness. Really glad that you're here. Let's get into it. First, I want to pay my respects to the elders of the Ngunnawal people, past, present and emerging, and acknowledge them as the traditional owners of the land upon which this episode was recorded and uploaded. I want to extend that acknowledgement to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples listening. Secondly, I want to acknowledge you, dear espresso drinker, be you listening on a podcast service or watching on YouTube. I want to recognise the courage you have shown in pressing play on this episode. Let's be honest, very few gay men look for content on loneliness unless they recognise that they feel lonely. This is a big step and I want to say that I see you and I recognise your courage. My friend, I want to say this very slowly. You're not broken. You're human. Loneliness is, after all, an experience shared by all humans. Loneliness is part of the human condition. And it's an awful part of the human condition, let's be clear, but it's there whether we like it or not. Loneliness is meant to be experienced in the short term. We're all meant to acknowledge it and go, hey, I need to connect and go about getting that connection. However, Somewhere along the way in our human evolutionary story, in our human evolutionary journey, we seem to have lost the ability to talk about loneliness and ask for connection in a way that we keep our loneliness only in the short term. Loneliness and to be lonely seems to mean many things now and very few of them are good. Loneliness and to be lonely seems to mean that we are boring or clingy or we're not interesting enough, so we need to amp ourselves up, or that we're too much, so we need to dial ourselves down to make others feel more comfortable around us. Loneliness means that at least at some point, but perhaps for a longer period of time rather than a shorter period of time, we have questioned our worthiness for love and belonging. That's heavy. That's a heavy set of thoughts and feelings there when we question our worthiness for love and belonging. So it's not surprising. It's so not surprising that we want to deny our loneliness within ourselves. It's little wonder as well that we don't want to share that with other people when it has that baggage, when it has that baggage of questioning our worthiness for love and belonging. My friend, here's the thing. You can't deny one uncomfortable emotion like loneliness only to focus on the good ones like happiness and joy. Denying one emotion leads to denying them all. It's the reason I feel numb when I feel lonely. I feel absolutely nothing. When I feel lonely, I only want to focus on the good things. I want to, you know, feel good. I want to sort of ignore that part of me where I'm feeling, frankly, like shit. And so I feel nothing. I inevitably end up feeling nothing. So, that might be the reason that you feel nothing too. So when I find myself feeling numb, I sit with it. I acknowledge that I feel lonely and reflect on what I need to do to feel connected. 
Do I need, need some time to connect with myself? How's my connection to those most important to me? How connected to my community am I right now? So that's my advice to you. Lean into your loneliness. Be brave, be courageous, and be curious. And if you need help, I'm right here. I'm gay and I get lonely too, remember? I've been where you are and I can help you. I'm right here to help and support you. So that's it for this espresso. Be sure to check out all my work and services, destigmatizing gay loneliness and promoting authentic connection for gay men globally, for gay men like you, through my website, thelonelinessguide.com. Remember, we're not meant to endure loneliness for long, and you're worthy of receiving the same love and support that you so freely give to others. Please like, comment, and share this episode so it reaches more gay men experiencing loneliness and lets them know, just as you now know, that they're not alone as a gay man experiencing loneliness. If this episode inspired you, made you think, or otherwise supported you, please tap the link in the show notes to buy me a coffee. Your financial contribution will go directly to growing the loneliness guy and, to, and, and helping it to reach more gay men. Thank you in advance for your generosity and your support. Thank you for joining me for this espresso shot. Until next time, take care of yourself, Yara, and enjoy your day.